Hi there, Christian Henson from Spitfire Audio here. It's uh, just a massive honour to be taking you through parts of Albion Neo, which I have to say the team have just knocked it out of the park on this one. An immensely intimate, icy, just stunning sounding library that's everything I kind of dreamed of. I think, without sounding immodest, I'd like to think of this as our greatest donation to media composition to date. It really is a thing of beauty. There is no such thing as writer's block with this thing in your arsenal. Anyway, sales pitch over, let's have a look at Segler. If you recall in Paul's walkthrough, we've got our Albion Neo Orchestra, which has a string A band and a string B band. These are basically some really small band that we've then split by divisi, by desk, into half bands, so even more intimate. And something we really recommend you trying out, and I'm sure that Paul would have taken you through, is using the A band in isolation. Super intimate. The B band in isolation. Same technique, different players, slightly subtle, nuanced difference, or together for greater impact. Or indeed, subtly different techniques so you can create your own blend. So here I've got Super Saltasto and Super Flautando. So with that in mind, we created Segler Textures, which will take these sounds into the epic universe of hybrid. You'll see that we have two massive banks of sounds that have been made by the Spitfire team, Paul and myself, and they're split into two categories, organic and electronic. But that's just the beginning, because eDNA, the engine that we put these sounds into, is all about you creating your own custom universes. So if you have a look here, you'll see there's a huge selection of these organic sounds arranged so that you can load them into this two-bay system. So it's all about playing sounds off each other and mixing between the two. So let's just check out this a hair and some air. You see, we've basically got some strings here, some brass. The brass are dominating. We've got the mixer oscillating automatically. You can switch that off and control it. Say, for example, with this modulation wheel. So we've got brass here. Very cleverly, we've also got uh, these low passes working against each other. I'll show you how we go about creating these custom controllers. Uh, but, but you'll hear there's a real contrast between the two sounds. Maybe what I want to do is adjust the balance here so I can trim back these sounds. And we also have independent control of the ADSR. So I want a slower attack on the string so we don't get that sound. And we can also control how far into each sound that we go. So let's try making it go all the way into strings, but not quite all the way into brass. We can obviously speed up that oscillation process as well. Until it becomes a, an effect all of its own. Here's another example of how we can use the mixer to do like really incredible kind of musical things as well as, as sonic ones. So basically what it's doing is it's fading into the bend down and it's going to fade back to the bend up here. 
what I'll do is visually respond to where the mixer is. Also, naturally, you can program this so it synchronizes with your sequencer. So eDNA is not just a tweak head synthy thing, it's a really creative musical tool. Next up features a new feature of eDNA and that is an arpeggiator and I didn't think this would work, but boy does it. Kind of instant Michael Nyman there, incredible. So arpeggiator is a new feature in EDNA and works surprisingly well with orchestral. Who would have thunk it? Let's have a listen to some of the bigger sounds that we've created within the Neo universe. To get that kind of scale, we've used the clone function here, which basically plays the sound twice. And you'll see that the clone is playing up an octave here and down an octave here. So let's go up an octave, and then down the octave. Another thing that we do at Spitfire Audio, which are really popular, are these things called evos or evolutions. Basically, the idea is sounds that take time to change. And this is, again, something that you can almost imitate with eDNA by using the automated oscillator. You'll notice most of these Neo sounds have very slow oscillation. But as you sit on a sound, it'll kind of evolve and change. giving our directors what they want, that emotion, without there really being many notes going on. Great. All sorts of amazing effects have been employed on the modular synth there to create lovely granularity to these sounds. And, you know, I've always maintained that using just plain old synths is really difficult to, to mix into a cinematic environment. But by having an organic start, even if you're processing it heavily, it just mixes in with orchestral materials and with dialogue and with sounds so much easier because I guess the sounds are complex, like you get complexity in nature. Whilst there are many functions to the eDNA GUI, it is the oscillator mixer. It's, it's so simple, it's so easy to create really quite interesting and dramatic effects. And you'll see that actually, instead of just having the smooth left and right, we've got this shape. So what will happen is it'll go to one side and then jump back. Again, syncable to your host tempo. And here's an interesting use of the gate sequence. It's, it's so quick, but the actual gate volume is very, very low. You can see there's just one little dot there. If I bring that up, you'll see. And naturally, you can also automate that. So let's put that on the old mod wheel. So for it to learn what controller you want, just simply control, click on the controller on the GUI, and then click on Learn MIDI CC Automation, and then wiggle whatever you want to control it. And hey, presto.
absolutely stunning stuff there. And naturally we have a selection of filters, so if you want to get rid of some of that bottom end. And we've got Q controls here. So what I'm going to do is put the cue up here and then I'm going to learn both of these high pass like this and then just have a bit of fun with the automation. So if we have a look at MIDI automation and we go to controller number one and we've got our high pass and our high pass here. So let's go from 20 to 75 there and 75 to 20 there. The stuff of nightmares and naturally you can also control these with oscillators here so this is the amount and you'll see and apply the same with pitch and also with volume But sometimes the simplest approaches to customizing your sounds are the best. And this is just taking these beautiful string sounds, the saltasto and the bend up, and pitching them up hugely to give you this, just this beautiful frosting. They're also using the clone function. Let's just hear it just dry. So everything you heard up to that point were from the organic section of Segler. This is the electronic section. This is where we've prepared presets that have a slightly more hybrid, more electronic bent. When first listening to that, I thought it was a like a, a phaser being used, but actually it's, uh, I believe it's this thing here that's phasing up and down. If we just want to chill that out to make it sound less spacey. For my liking, I like things to sustain so I can really go from one chord to the next. So just al altering the release there on both. Absolutely insane there. So that's the gate again, and let's have a look at these smooth in and smooth out. And again, can be converted into almost like a tremolando. And you can have them alternating, if you wish, between the different sides. So again, we've got our A and our B, A and B. Let's pan those to make that really obvious. So you can see just by fiddling around, you can instantly make these presets your own or indeed just start from scratch with these incredible sounds. So, someone's called this, I don't know what it is. Let's have a listen and try and work it out.
Well, it's mental, but I think that the main thing about whenever we create these hybrid sounds is we want them to be usable within what it is we do. So you're not having to scroll through thousands of sounds that have chords that you can't use or feel like they're other people's pieces of music or, or cues. They're, they're all designed to play your music. And I think this is just a really exciting addition to the universe of sounds that we're using as media composers. Let's put the gate in and play out. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you want more information about Albion Neo, do click on the link down below. Subscribe if you haven't done. There's going to be plenty more information about Albion Neo coming up soon alongside all sorts of exciting tutorials. Ding that bell if you want to be notified the next time we put a video up. And one of those, if you approve of this library, much appreciated. Well done, Spitfire team. It's an absolute corker and I'm truly in love. See you next time.